Hi, Joni. I remember when you were a kid on Pringle and we used to visit your family there. And we did such grown-up things compared to what we did in Kalamazoo. And I remember you and Carol taking us to the penny candy store with no car and no adult supervision. And we would go with all our pennies. And the shopkeeper was so patient. Everybody would take a long time choosing what they wanted to buy. And we would go home with these totally glamorous wax lips. And what street was that on? Pringle. Oh, and what was that thing with the K? Oh, and this was in the Niblo neighborhood. And you explained to me patiently that the K in Niblo was silent. And this was very valuable information to me as a second grader who was having a very rough time learning to spell and to read. And guess what? When I married Megan, Joni, you came along as part of the dowry, and now we are all friends. And I'm certainly looking forward to sharing hiking and wine and good conversation in the near future. Oh, and we have on our mitten wear, I have on a Mackinac Island shirt, and he's wearing his Uper logo sweatshirt. Yeah. So, happy birthday, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, in our tribute to Joan, what can you say about Joan? Let's see. There's so many fond memories of sisters and sister events and just everything like that. But the most one for me was probably when she came to my daughter's Laura's wedding. And she knew that I needed support. So she came um, and... I was pretty stressed out. There was a lot to do. Didn't have a lot of family support at that time. And she made the big trek to come and be with me and support me. And she um, dug her heels in because she always had sensible shoes. That's our sister. And she made a big difference in the outcome of the whole event. So she supported. She's encouraging. She's the great listener. Very insightful about life in the world we live in. Love you, sister. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, John. Hey, happy 70th. So happy that we're able to celebrate with you. Uh, we've got such uh, great memories of you and your, all of your wonderful entertaining, your fabulous cooking, and how you're able to just pull things together in a moment. It's incredible. And we are so lucky to have you as our neighbors and look forward to making lots and lots of memories in the future. And again, happy 70th. And welcome to Joan time. Oh, you're only 61, right? <laughs> well, good morning from Michigan, Joan. Uh, as you can see, we had uh, a little bit of snow uh, with that storm uh, last night. But uh, happy birthday, 70, hard to believe, huh? Well, you're doing great. You look awesome. And uh, we're very happy for you. Uh, happy birthday once again. Um, memories, of course, the snow. I was kind of thinking that time you came home at Christmas and we put you on the fastest, best saucer we had. And um, you went farther and flew farther than anyone else had the whole winter. And uh, <laughs> actually went way out into the swamp. So you set a record. So happy birthday um love you as a sister and take care and we'll see you uh soon i hope thanks bye joni baloney my favorite memories with you um believe it or not were was back when i was going to new york when i was modeling and um i would stay with you in white plains and i remember going to a really cool bar uh, then in downtown Soho and having martinis, which for me at 16 was like really so much fun. I loved that. Um, I also loved um, spending those summers in the Hamptons, even though I crashed a car once. Um, and just like those super formative years when I was like 16 to, to, to 18 or 15 to 20, whatever it was. Um, and you were, in, you were in New York and you were killing it. You were a boss boss babe and um such an inspiration and so cool for me to see because i didn't have a female role model in my life who was out there making it on her own doing incredible things working with best-in-class people um 
you know, like you, I know you've had a, a few um, trials and errors with guys, much like myself. So <laughs> I think, I think, yeah, that was, that was like those years. It was just so great to have you as a role model around and so fun too. I remember having so much fun. Um, and then I think what I admire is, is exactly that. Like I said, um, such a boss woman and, um, at a time when women weren't leading particularly in, in digital, um, and you, you really carved out a role for yourself that suited you on you, on your terms, which I think is, is incredible. And still today, people are just trying to figure out what that, that looks like. Um, and, um, that you always have a sense of humor. I think that that's um, amazing. And I love that also you have um, like really quite clear boundaries and you're not scared to um, call people out on their stuff um, and to do what is right for you and just do you. It's always been really inspiring. I love that you work hard and that you play hard. Um, and I, you know, like I always say to you, I think that um, anybody who would ever have had you as a mom would be so lucky. And I'm just lucky to have you as my favorite aunt. Love you so much and look forward to seeing what you do in your seventies. Bye. Hi, Aunt Joni. Hi, Aunt Joni. <laughs> Hi, sis. We miss you so much. We just wanted to let you know, happy 70th birthday. Congrats. We're here in Richmond, thinking of you in our most memorable time in Orlando, Florida. And Montauk. <laughs> and we miss you so much, and we just wanted to wish you a happy birthday, and we love you so, 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 so much. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Love you. Bye. Bye. Hi, Joan. We're really pleased to welcome you to the 70s. Come on in. One of the first things that people notice about you is that you bring such a warmth to all of your relationships. You're very social, and welcoming, and curious, and you take everyone at face value, which is one of the ways you make such good friends. Add in your wonderful culinary skills to your repertoire, and you know you are in for an amazing and fun time. Another major trait that we all recognize is your vitality and your energy. You are on the go at any time of day or night, your game for anything, with no fuss whether it's a hike or a ski or bicycling around Ottawa's canal. Being a team player, you have lots to share and volunteer with your neighborhood community groups. One of my favorite baseball caps is one that you gave to me, which has the logo MBPOA, which I think is Montauk Beach Property Owners Association. Your triangulated relationship with you and John and IBM is, of course, well noted. We know you had a great career there, which we describe as editor-in-chief of the IBM homepage. We may have got this wrong, just as we lost count of the number of times you retired and unretired. But if we had to poke a hole, Joan, uh, we're told that one of your signature characteristics is your mediocre punctuality. Uh, our proof of this is the time you managed to arrive late for an intimate private reception in the Canadian Embassy in Tokyo, hosted by the, ambassador, the Canadian ambassador to Japan. And the best part of it all was you just took it all in stride. It was great. We love you and salute you, Joan. Have a happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Joan. What do you say about Joan? Joan is always the life of the party. She is the cook extraordinaire. She loves gatherings. She enjoys making food and making everybody happy. She likes raunchy games. And she is definitely an asset to the Skinner Drive group. Happy birthday, Joan. As soon as I was asked, to give a short tribute to Joan for her 70th birthday, I was very excited and couldn't refuse. We were the two closest siblings in a large family and Joan was always a leader, bringing everyone together and making life a lot of fun. And she's never stopped doing that. In our family, it was Joan who always came up with the really great ideas and bringing us together to do something. And she's continued to do that in her life with everyone that she knows. People complain about aging and becoming older, but there's a wisdom that we gain from so many years. And Joan's used her wisdom and her talents to bring people together. 
always in our life, whether it's colleagues at work or friends or family. She always brings everyone together. She's an accomplished speaker. She's a great golfer and just an all around wonderful person that people love having as a friend. Joan's always faced any challenge in her life with positivity and the attitude that she can always get something done and has this tremendous laughter and zest for life. Many people have become friends and have a social life just because of Joan. When, the th when um, I look back at all the years and the things that Joan's accomplished, we realize that aging is a gift and Joan makes that gift look fabulous. I think Lucille Ball said it best when she said the secret of staying young is to live honestly, eat slowly, and lie about your age. Joan's secret is she always believes that everything's possible. Love you, Joan. Happy birthday. Hi, Joan. Hi, Joan. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Helen Patty. Here we are at Finn's. Here we are at Finn's. <laughs> there are your oysters. <laughs> Happy 70th. Bye. Enjoy the good day. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, happy birthday, Joan, my dear friend. What a great idea Joan had to make these videos and send them to you. Although I do have to admit that uh, when I got the email invitation, I thought, you know, this is the winter that I decide to not touch up my hair, let it go gray, see all my wonderful gray, just to see how it, how it looks. And of course, this is the winter that you turn 70 and Joan wants this wonderful video. So Anyway, um, I'm happy to do it and, and just wish, so glad to be a part of your day. Um, so looking back, I, I couldn't pick out like one, my favorite memory of you, Joan, because we've done so many things in so many, you know, so many different contexts. You know, when I think back to, ah, here's a place, 44 South Broadway in White Plains and our office there and how we, we created the suite and made it all nice and homey. And, um, and then if you recall, Mr. Winky, he was kind of fun. And also um, the story about uh, Ginger's disappearing uh, cookies. So um, we had a lot of laughs there and it was fun. And, and then, you know, we had some time, you know, homepage and, you know, being editor and dealing with um, all of the folks that, that want to submit content for the homepage in 1133. And, um, and those were fun days as well. Um, oh God, and golf league, you know, how, you know, golf league was just, um, a fun all around. Um, it was great playing with you. It was also those award dinners with, with um, so much fun and Diane Dempsey just being a mother hen to us all. And it was just a great group of women having a lot of fun and, uh, and doing it for quite a few years. Um, so that was, that was just great. Um, and then of course I've got some, you know, personal memories of us, um, outside of it, IBM or a golf context when, uh, when you came up here to visit me on the Cape and um, I want to share with you how much I love cohogging and how to do it with your feet. So we went out on, on off my little beach and, you know, started to do that and had and had a great time. And then joining you and John on Nantucket, where we could take bikes out, something I, I still enjoy today. I, I spent a lot of time on my bike. So I'm glad to have shared those memories with you as well. Um, you know, and thinking of all those, it just brings a smile to my face. And I, I guess that's my segue into what do I admire most about you? And the two things go hand in hand. One is um, you always had a smile on your face. You were always upbeat and, um, and no matter what. And so um, being around you, I could, I could just kind of feel that energy and feel that smile and a smile would come to my face as well. And you were always open and down to earth. And, you know, I always felt comfortable with you, no matter what we were doing, sharing good and sharing the bad and being a confidant. So, um, so those two are things that I admire about you and, and try to emulate being as, uh, as open as I can and, and as, um, upbeat and as positive and as hopeful as I can, particularly in these times of the pandemic. Um, it has been, uh, has been a bit challenging these last 18 months or so, but anyway, happy birthday, my dear friend. And I look forward to talking with you soon. Happy birthday, Joni. Wow, here we are, 40 years after meeting, and you are celebrating a really special birthday. And I am so happy to be here to wish you well and send my love and thank you for 40 years of friendship. I love you. Have a wonderful birthday. 
Hey, Joan, one of my favorite memories with you goes back uh, nine years now to when um, we did the MBA and IBM project together, um, which also goes into what I admire most about you. I got to see you at your finest uh, collaborating across a very, very large organization. And the reason I admire that is because it's something that I, I have to do on an almost daily basis, basis of um, collaborating across teams and people and knowing the right people to talk to about what and how to piece everything together is such a valuable skill um, or just personality trait to be able to bring those, that many different people together, um, ones that don't actually like report to you. I know this sounds very business focused, but I think that it, it applies just to an overall personality trait of uh you know getting people to like you and to listen to you and to drive people together and and towards a, a shared goal uh whether it's you know for your community as the digital manager or whatever or at ibm driving big projects together i think it's what you excel at and the reason i admire it is because it's something that um i i strive for uh, almost every day at work kindness has touched so many Joan I adore your beautiful smile and your carefree attitude thanks for everything you've done for me sis I'll never forget the midnight escapade on our bicycles from the campground to Lake Michigan <laughs> to go skinny dipping that was so fun Happy birthday, Joan! Happy birthday, Joan! So, what are the things that we love about our little Joan? Oh my God, her laugh! She's got the fantastic laugh. Oh, great laugh! She's an excellent cook. Yeah, she loves at the drop of a hat. If we want to get together, she loves to have a party. Yep, she's into themes. Yes, part, so. party themes. Yeah. She, did we already say she's an amazing cook? She's an amazing cook. Yeah. If we if we did say, say it. it we can say it twice because she's that good. She is that good, yeah. And let me see what else is there. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Hmm. There's um, one other thing. Hmm. What could it be? I don't know. She's good looking. Good looking. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Oh. Joan time. <laughs> Happy birthday, Joan. Happy birthday. So when I got the invitation and it had a seven in it, I was like, there's got to be a mistake here. There is no way the number seven and Joan's birthday have anything in common. Uh, but I digress. So the questions were, what do I admire about you? And what's a favorite memory? And I feel like um, this story kind of captures both. I remember when I was over at your house and you were telling me about the terracotta army and how you, it was, I was just mesmerized by the story, how it was discovered by farmers in the seventies and it's just all these cool things about it. And you were like, I, I decided I had to go. And then you described how it was like from a, in a faraway city. Um, you know, it was in a foreign country, transportation was its own thing. And you were like, I'm going to go. And you did. And what I was really just amazed by, inspired by, was just your tenacity, your sense of adventure, your um, always your sense of fun. But I was just really inspired hearing that story from you. And it just told me everything about you, that uh, you really are one to take take life and, and go for it. So happy birthday, Joan, and best wishes always. Happy birthday, Auntie. Uh, I wanted to jump on here and talk about my favorite memory. I have so many memories of us breaking into pools when I was younger. I think at every place you've ever lived until you moved here to Arizona. But we were always breaking into pools late at night with, of course, Monica. <laughs> and I just remember it being so much fun and loving every minute of it. It just has stuck with me all the time we've spent together, all the fabulous dinners. Um, 
just how amazing you've been. And happy birthday, Joan. It's a very happy birthday to you. Hey, we just want to say that we have really enjoyed getting to know you and spending time with you and John. I'm so glad that I got to see you in a Pilates class and mm. that many years, ago. many years ago, yes. But more importantly, that you have included us in so many of your celebrations and events. So we wish you a very, very happy day and many, many more to come. See you soon. Thank you. Hey, Joan. Thanks for being such a great neighbor. We so appreciate everything you do and all you bring to Skinner Drive. Yeah, Joan, it's wonderful to have you. You're the hostess with the mostess. We really enjoy you bringing all of your great appetizers to our happy hours. It wouldn't be the same without those. And we just both want to wish you a happy, happy birthday. birthday. Hello, my love. And I hope you're enjoying all these wonderful videos uh, from, your, from your dearest friends. Uh, of course, we have many, many memories together, but um, there's one little story you may not even be aware. When we first met, it was at IBM, and we were in a conference room with a bunch of other people, and that was the first time I ever laid eyes on you. And I kind of thought, hmm, yeah, yeah, not bad. And then uh, afterwards, uh, we were walking out to the parking lot, and I saw you get into your your little red hot RX-7. And I kind of said, hmm, maybe it'll maybe even better. And it was only a year later that uh, we started dating and then the rest is history, of course. Um, but we've had so many wonderful moments and wonderful times together. But one of the things that I admire the most about you are your friends. You know, a lot of people have maybe a best friend. Some people might have two best friends. You have many, many best friends and you nurture the relationships, uh, you know, year in and year out. And you are so fortunate to have so many friends, but it's because of you that uh, you, you got to that position. So I just want to wish you a happy birthday and welcome to the 70s. Maybe I shouldn't be saying that, but uh, many happy returns and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you.